Hey, this is Chris Simpson from Merseyside Metal Madness. I am here at the Moho in Manchester. I'm talking to Bob from the Fantastic Firewind. Bob, thank you so much for talking to us. Really appreciate it. Now, first off, can we talk about the new album? You've just released your seventh studio album, Few Against Many. Um, how do you feel this new album compares to previous Firewind releases? I think it's um, something fresh, first of all. Uh, we made this agreement that we don't want to do um, Allegiance Part 4. Uh, we all we know that Allegiance and Premonition are like our hit albums, mm. if you can call it a hit, uh, you know. But are not, they are the most uh, like successful. And um, we said, let's do something different. This has to do with the choice of uh, gas also, um, to make it more guitar dri driven. Mm -hmm. Um, which is not a problem for me because I play guitar in anyway. <laughs> um, also, uh, I think this album, um, I don't think it's so big turn, actually. Mm. My, my, this is my opinion. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't reflect the other guys. But I don't think we did uh, such a very big turn. Mm. We just made a little bit more uh, edgy production, yeah. a little bit uh, here and there bits and, you know, not something like, like we just started playing thrash metal. Um, Cool. I feel comfortable with the, with the new album. We did new stuff. We did uh, more heavy songs. We did uh, a piano song with yes. Apocalyptica. How how um, was that working with Apocalyptica on Edge of a Dream? That was really cool actually because it was a song I did with uh, Apollo one day. He was in my home. And we just did this song for you know in a couple of minutes. I just started playing and then after a couple of hours was ready. Mm. And then uh, we sent it over to Gus. Gus was like, oh, I'm not sure about it maybe do this and that. I said, no, no, just keep it like this. And then he was like, hey, we're going to have Apocalyptic play the cellos. <laughs> I said, no, dude. And then next thing, he just, you know, made some emails and they, well, they're going to do it. <laughs> like, oh, that's great. Wow. And I think that they did exactly what they had to do. They didn't do it, you know, symphonic and uh, stuff. They just put the correct amount of epicness in the song. Fantastic. Now, obviously, probably the biggest thing about um, Few Against Many is that last month it hit the number one album spot in Greece, in Greece, which is an incredible achievement, especially for a heavy metal band. Now, I mean, how did that make you feel? Especially because we kicked Justin Bieber <laughs> yes. off the first. We were going to say, I think we, I th we think you deserve a special, like an extra award for yes. protecting music by yeah, kicking yeah, him yeah. off the top spot. I mean, if you if you if you take a look at the, the whole. Um, list I mean <laughs> that, that was something very special that's the first uh, time that a metal band even a rock band in Greece can do it Wow. Um, we also did a gold uh, album you know in the Hall of Sound in uh, Sweden this is very special for us too but the, you know topping the charts in Greece was like yes we did it because you know Greece uh, has this uh, you know country music all this stuff uh, so it was, it was like twice or triple as hard mm -hmm. to achieve it uh, we're very happy about this you know we have a crazy fans it's amazing back in Greece they support the band they they still buy albums back in Greece um, it's cool and I hope we're gonna you know in, in the most important for me personally because I have a very big contact with um, you know young kids mm -hmm. I have students and people recording in my studio I think I like that we inspire the people, you know, and the kids to do this. You know, they don't have to um, settle for anything less. Like, okay, we're gonna play some Greek music, so we'll make some money. We're like, no, dude, you can make it. We made it. You can make it too, and change, Brilliant. you know, the, the thing in Greece. Inspiring younger generations. That's amazing. Yes. So now let's let's go on to this tour. Now, as we've said, you really doing incredibly well in Greece. Um, does it feel at all strange to come? to the UK and play, you know, really quite small venues on the tour compared to, you know, what you might be playing in Greece. The stadiums, you mean? Well, you know, you know, no. you know no, what I we're, mean. We're not an arena band. No, yet. no, of course not. And um, I think everybody, if, even if you ask Iron Maiden, they're going to tell you that oh, we prefer the intense shows. I mean, intense show yeah. for Iron Maiden might mean 5,000. <laughs> you know, um, it's not a problem. Mm. If if we have 200 fans in Manchester, that's great for us. You know, it's a blessing. We, we would have not been been here. You know, it could have been uh, like 10 people. <laughs> we always sure. look at the you know Big. positive side. Good. And um, okay, we we have this uh, two two thousand people in Greece. 
it's cool. But um, we try to work on this in every country. That's what. That's why you're touring. Otherwise, we're gonna be playing only in Greece. You know, get the money and go home. So. This is only the second night of the tour. Just, are, are you feeling optimistic about the tour so far? Yes, actually, for us, it's uh, even if we have uh, mountains of technical problems. Oh. You know, this breaks, this is not working. <laughs> this breaks again. This was new. We have seven Black Star heads. Yeah. You know, for the for Black Star amps. Yeah. Um, but uh, we since uh, the, the sewing card it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I know it's gonna be fantastic. Day as well, we have a great response. People are, you know, th you know, the, the thing is, uh, the Firewood fans are really devoted mm. because uh, they, th they feel like they're special. And because uh, what I see, you know, in the social media and YouTube, but um, every, every fan of Firewood feels that the band is under underestimated, mm. which is a bad thing because everybody would like to see the band, you know, have a worldwide success. but. This makes the fans look, uh, feel special. Like, hey, we know the secret of Firewood. And let's go. <laughs> let's be there. So that's why we we are on the on the road. You know, but oh. we we go for <clears> them. <throat> we don't we don't uh, we're not like, you know sad like oh we don't have one thousand people. No, we don't care about it. If it's two hundred people, let's go and play for them. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Um, okay, so just um, you're touring with. Leaves eyes, yes. and I know that it said online. Liv Christine is actually joining you on stage for breaking the silence. Yes. Um, how's it? How's it going? Are you enjoying touring with them? Do you get on? I didn't. To be honest, because they are, they are the Germans, and the, the Germans we don't, uh, you know, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the economical thing is weird. But when we first met the guys, they are fantastic, and we don't say it because just to do the poll. I'm not good at this stuff. Yeah. But they are fantastic guys, and uh, especially Liv. I mean, a part of the song that she, she really nailed it. I mean, she was fantastic yesterday. She has a great voice. I, I, it's, you know, maybe better than the album itself. Um, you know, she's a, everybody is a, is a smiling person from this band. And uh, I think we are smiling persons too. So we have fun. It's, it's great. It, it, it wouldn't be better. Oh. Brilliant. Now, okay, this is sort of a bigger question I want to ask. You get described quite often in press and stuff like that as Gus G and his band. Now, but from your perspective, is that what the band dynamic is really like or is it more equal? Did you say Gus G? <laughs> 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 no, uh, to me it's a, it's a blessing having, you know, mm. being in the Gus G and the band. Yeah. Because when you go, you have to bear with the other four guys, mm. and that's the thing. I mean, if you are, um, I mean, if you took, if you ask me, I will tell you who's playing on the Steve Vai's band. It's Billy Sheehan, it's Tony McAlpine, it's you know. So yeah. if you play with a great guy, leading the pack, you know, it feels more safe. Mm. And uh, and we were together from the beginning. It's not like that we all. You know, join the band right now. We will just follow the leader. Uh, I mean, the leader has, doesn't have to say he's the leader. We know that from the beginning that it was Gus G. We believed that in, to Gus that when he was telling us we're gonna do this and that, and he was doing this and that every year. It wasn't like uh, okay, I'm the I'm the man. I'm, we're gonna you're gonna be my servant. No, it was never like that. We were you know we were a company. We were playing, and then the thing happened. You know, the Aussie thing and the, the rest of stuff. So. First of all, we're his friends, and yeah. he's our friend, so we're very lucky. And that was a kind of business trip we did because we had problems with the singers. You yeah. know, we changed a lot of singers. We have extra singers, you know, helping us out with yeah. doing the job. Um, so it's better to have Gus, who's gonna be there forever. So brilliant. Okay, so my fi final question, because we're running out of time, just quickly. After this tour is over, what are Firewind's plans for the future? Split the money, go to Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we have more uh, more stuff to do. You know, we, we try to go in uh, in places. We have to go to Australia. We try to organize tours here and there. Maybe we do a very big power metal thing in the Europe. Oh. Maybe we don't. Brilliant. <sighs> it's a lot of stuff. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to seeing what goes on. Bob, thank you so much for talking to me. Really appreciate it. This is Chris from Merseyside Metal Madness. Thanks for listening, guys.